Welcome to a live story time. The story that Eddie chose today has got animals in aeroplanes, trains, taxis. Have you seen a whale ride a bicycle? Ooh, we might see that in today's story. So let's get our wiggles out so we can start. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be. Today's story is called... It's actually got an elephant. It's called... You can't take an elephant on the bus. Oh, very luckily, Eddie has been on a bus before, but this elephant... I don't think will fit. Our author is Patricia Cleveland Pick and our illustrator is David Tazziman. So he drew all the pictures. Here's our book spine and the back cover. Oh, it's got the back of the elephant and a little blurb and it says, elephants on buses, monkeys in shopping trolleys, hippos in hot air balloons, a whale on a bike? <gasps> Let's see how that's going to work. You can't take an elephant on the bus. You can't take an elephant on the bus. It would simply cause a terrible fuss. Elephants' bottoms are heavy and fat and would certainly squash the seats quite flat. And don't sit a monkey in a shopping trolley. For monkeys are naughty and find it jolly to snatch your shopping and chuck it about. No, leave monkey at home when you go out. Nor should a tiger travel by train. Think of the panic, think of the pain. Tigers are built to spring into leap. Think of the passengers half asleep. And don't hail a taxi if the driver's a seal. With such slippery flippers, he can't grasp the wheel. The taxi will sliver and probably swerve. Then throw everyone out at the very next curve. A centipede on roller skates is rather bizarre. With 100 feet, he'd go fast and go far. But to put on his boots would take him an age. He'd get in a temper. He'd get in a rage. And don't put a camel in a sailing boat. It's far too tricky to keep afloat. His hump and his feet would, I think, capsize the vessel and make it sink. A giraffe in an aeroplane wouldn't be right. The roof of a plane just hasn't the height. With legs and a neck so bendy and long, oh sorry, so bony and long, a giraffe on a plane would simply be wrong. And don't ask a whale to ride a bike. Just imagine what it would be like. Without a bottom to sit on a seat, and how would he pedal without any feet? A pig on a skateboard, another mistake. He'd be too heavy, it would probably break. Or his trotters would totter, unable to grip, and up and over, the skateboard would flip. And I wouldn't put a hippo in a hot air balloon. The basket's too small. There wouldn't be room. And if it did fly with hippo's great weight, it would come crashing down in a terrible state. And never let a bear near an ice cream van. Bears gobble up ice cream as fast as they can. And if they stopped, they'd get annoyed and an angry bear 
is one best to avoid. Then, how can we travel? The animals shout. How can we animals get carried about? What's the best vehicle? We haven't a clue. Well, I've got an idea. How about you? What's it gonna be? Yes! Animals on roller coasters are good for a laugh. There's room here for everyone, even giraffe. So it's goodbye to skateboards, balloons and that bus. For now, we have a conveyance that suits all of us. That's a great idea. They can all fit even you, ready. <laughs> if you like that story, please click the thumbs up button and send it to a friend. We'll see you next time.